My name is Fritz K.O. and welcome to my YouTube channel, Fritz K.O. Vids. And if you want more videos like this, subscribe. I have lots of different types of videos I've made over the years here on my YouTube channel, Fritz K.O. Vids. I also have a Patreon account. If you want to participate in that, feel free to. I'll put a link in the uh, description. Where to start, guys? Where to start? It's been three years now since I made the original video, Father Denied Visitation. And a lot has happened. Where to start? Probably be best to start from the beginning. I met my son's mother uh, when we were kids, when we were going to school, uh, in middle school. I believe like sixth or seventh grade, something like that. Uh, we dated briefly in high school. We both grew up and left school and went on about our lives. Is uh, In the video, Father Denied Visitation, that doesn't really describe a whole lot of what's go what was going on at the time. And hopefully in this video, um, I will be able to answer a whole lot of your guys' questions. The video... The original video is a heck of a lot more popular than I ever thought it would be. Currently has 60,000 something views. So basically, like I said, I met my son's mother when I was, when we were kids, when we were in school, and uh, we were both pretty innocent, decent uh, individuals back then. You know, I mean, we grew up in the country in the middle of nowhere. As we became adults, uh, we obviously made different decisions and walk different paths and uh, some years went by like 10, 10 plus years I'd been married then separated had two kids during that marriage and then I, I met up with her one night when I moved back to my uh, local hometown and uh, met up with her one night at a pub and uh, we had like a short little fling and uh, through reconnecting with people and hearing different things that were going on around town, I realized that this was not the best decision that I had made because I, I had talked to her for a, a week or two. It, it wasn't like I had like a, a one night stand thing where I never called her back. And um, I cut her. Anyway, long story short, I ended the relationship once I found out she was doing drugs and things like that. She contacted me later on telling me that she was pregnant. I uh, then filed a complaint with uh, CPS, which uh, generated uh, a courthouse DNA test eventually through the DHS. And in the middle of this DNA testing process, before there was any uh, anything legal set up, like parenting time or anything like that, she moved away in the middle of this and uh, left state for about five months. Lived in North or South Dakota, I can't re currently remember. We're talking about three years ago now. When uh, she eventually did come back, that's when I made that video, the original video that you guys seen. Um, I did have established, after the DNA test was over, I did have parenting time established and things like that if she ever came back. Um, they did require she provide me uh, parenting time in North Dakota, but I live in Michigan, and so did she before she moved away, and that's just so so far away, guys. It's insanely far away when you're a single father, uh, paying child support, and uh, taking care of two kids and working full time. So as soon as she came back and I found out she was back, I uh, 
was a crazy story too all about that i'm going to go in more detail about all these things on my patreon account like how the whole court process worked how, how i dealt with cps how i dealt with uh dhs just a lot of different aspects of this that were out of my control So she moves back. I make that video because uh, she's being extremely difficult. One of her boyfriend uh, had attacked me. I have a police report for that. I'll show that in a future video on my Patreon account. I eventually realized that I was not going to get anywhere without a lawyer. So I started working crazy amounts of different types of jobs. I was flagging traffic. I was working uh, construction sites. I saved my money. I sold off my, my boats and uh, various different shotguns. Those of you who have watched my videos throughout the years realize that I uh, um, make a lot of different gun tutorial videos and I have owned lots of different types of firearms. And a lot of my cool ones I had to sell. I had to sell, sell all my cool stuff. Um, I believe I sold a really cool car and had to downgrade big time, too. I think I had a really nice Buick. I sold it, and I ended up getting, like, a $500 beat-up Honda, which and actually ended up being a rock star. It was a eyesore, but it was a really awesome car, a 1997 Honda Accord. I put over uh, 400 and something thousand miles on it. I got it with, like, 280000 for, like, 500 bucks off Craigslist. So, there you go. You can still buy a car for 500 bucks, drive it for a couple years, and get your money's worth. An insane deal. That was an excellent deal. I don't think that'll ever happen for me ever again. So, basically, I scraped and saved and got the lawyer, and then I uh, took my ex to court, and we had a, a different series of, of court battles where... I was really confused about a lot of different things. Like I said, I'll make a, a future video of how that whole court process worked and how that all went down in more detail to help you answer any more questions that you guys may have on my Patreon account. But the, the long story short of the gist of it was I lost those series of court battles and I only gained um, an overnight visitation and every or every other weekend visitation at that current time and that would be just shortly after that video the video that you originally saw was made and at this point i was extremely broke um i'd sold off all my things i was working all the time um i was hardly able to afford my lawyer um there was times where i was sitting down and I was like, do I want to pay my car insurance? Do I want to pay my rent? Or do I want to pay the lawyer? I mean, I, I would be lying if I told you guys it was easy. It was extremely difficult. It was extremely hard. I didn't have money to go out. Um, you, you know what I mean? My lifestyle at that point was nil. It was zilch. It was nada. It was non-existing. And all, all I did was work, save my money, smoke a lot of cigarettes, and uh, pay my lawyer and uh, beg my uh, landlord not to throw me out of my house. And so at that point, after everything was settled and uh, everything was finished at that point at the courthouse, um, I basically gave up. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention earlier is that I was going through all kinds of different, I was all kinds of sick at the time, and I, I was told by my doctor that I had cancer and I had major surgery and I was extremely ill for several months um, but the long story just of that is it, it all worked out everything was benign uh, the polyps and things that were found during my surgery and everything worked out great and it just took some time for me to recover so that's why I look so ill in these videos I mean, you'll see videos of me in the past where I look like I'm in extremely great shape. And then you'll see some of these videos where I look like I'm extremely sick. And it's probably around the time that I had my surgery. So, where are we now? Basically, I took my ex to court. Um, they didn't care about any of the CPS things. Um, 
she didn't have a lawyer. I did. It really didn't get me anywhere. I had spent a whole bunch of money, and I was extremely frustrated, and I was with the court system, with a CPS, with friend of court, big time with friend of court. They were, I hate to say it, the worst. And again, like I said, I plan on making a video about the court experience, just with the courthouse, with the lawyers and the judge, uh, a video about CPS, just about them, and a video uh, just about friend of court, which is, I... I'm going to say probably a really important video for uh, most of you to actually watch. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many are gonna, of those are going to be on Patreon and how many are going to be on my YouTube channel. But regardless, I have future uh, videos planned for both my YouTube channel and for Patreon. So, like I said, I was uh, feeling pretty hopeless at that time back to where we were and uh, out of nowhere I would kind of just moved on with my life I had focused on my kids and I had tried to reconcile with my my wife and that seemed like that was going pretty good and then I get a call one day that my my son was found in a home like an apartment house type home that had uh, several different apartments in it with two functioning meth labs and he was found passed out uh, in, in, a, in a room by himself. And he had a carpenter's nail in his mouth. And in this home, in the police report, it said there was a sex offender in the home that had a no child contact order. I mean, this is like a parent's worst nightmare, guys. So I get a call from the CPS workers that I had had uh, previous contact with in the past telling me that I have to get up to the hospital and uh, pick up my son. And I get up there, I pick him up. Um, he shows signs of abuse, uh, physical abuse, like he had been hit. Uh, the doctor said there was a handprint on him. They immediately uh, turned him over to my custody at that point, guys. And so I took him home. This was about three, this was three years ago when this happened. And um, I called back up my lawyer and uh, got the ball rolling on that. And like I said, you guys will need to watch future video uploads where I explain in more detail how, the complexities of all these different things that I'm just brushing over real quickly here in this story. Uh, but basically, CPS was trying to clean up his mother through various different programs, which she never complied with, uh, drug testing, mental health evaluations, just all these different things she never complied with. So a little bit of time had to go by, a couple months. But once she failed all these things, my lawyer was then able to grab up all this information, uh, file a bunch of petitions to the court. We then petitioned for custody. We then went to court. I then obtained full legal and physical custody of my son through a drug out, uh, uh, very depressing court battle. I mean, all these different things that I've uh, talked about in greater detail were brought up in court. And uh, But thank God, guys, I was able to uh, liberate my son from that situation. And uh, he has lived with me for the past three years. And it's been, it's been wonderful not having to worry about his safety anymore. Um, the, the, it's been uh, awesome just being able to be part of all the things I missed out on like him learning to walk and his very first words and uh, all those memory, all those things that I missed out on I've been able to make up for um, teaching him how to ride bike uh, teaching him how to drink out of a cup how to eat with his silverware how to do his alphabet, how to count um, all the time he gets to spend with his brothers and sisters Get on the slide, but get on it better. Sit down. Sit down. Get on there. Sit real good. Indian style. All right, you ready? <laughs> really?
really advanced activities that he can do now. Uh, we ride on, you know, my, my boat uh, through all that nonsense. And um, all my videos, people who have seen them in the past have probably seen the, the Red Coleman Canoe. Well, that was the one boat that I was able to hold on to through all of this. And uh, we use it all the time. Uh, we go night fishing. We moved into a wonderful area. We've just been so lucky, guys. I mean, it was a struggle at first. Like I said, there were times where we had to decide, you know, hey, did we want to pay our old bill with the lawyer? Did we want to pay our car insurance? Did we want to pay our rent? But I made it work. And uh, my ex's stepmother, uh, someone that I got to greatly thank for all of her help, uh, she's always been there to, to watch my son uh, so I can keep working and do the things I got to do to be able to provide for him. And uh, we greatly appreciate her and uh, all her time she spends helping everyone like she does. She's a really awesome person. And uh, a lot of crazy stuff has, has happened since then. Uh, we, we since have went back to court where she tried to fight me for custody about it a year ago just to open up uh, unsupervised visitations. And um, that didn't work out. She was pregnant at the time. I brought that up in court, and uh, they, they brought up CPS, and uh, she had failed uh, drug testing. And then later on, got like a series of, uh, like she had had a DUI before, then got like her second DUI just after she had her kid. And she lost custody of that kid, too. So, I mean, the story on, on that side just gets sadder and sadder. Uh, last I knew, she had a felony warrant uh, for probation violation. And she owes me so much money for child support that she has warrants for that, too. And uh, that's fine. We don't need her money. We're doing great. Uh, we currently live in a, a really awesome town, central Michigan. There's a beach right across the street from where we live. I mean, our life is truly blessed, guys, now. Um, I just can't explain to you how, how lucky I feel. It, it seems like, to me, if you do the right thing, um, the right things are going to happen for you. You do the wrong thing, bad things are going to happen to you. I mean, you think positive, positive things are going to happen. I, I never gave up. I never gave up on my son. It was the most important thing to me. His safety it was number one. This wasn't a vindictive thing where we didn't get along and we've, we've, we've fought all the time. I mean, this was a person that I had uh, dated when I was younger that was a really nice, innocent person, and, and the world had her hard. Uh, she became addicted to drugs. Uh, come to find out she had attacked a police officer, had went to prison in another state, had went to uh, jail in Detroit, picked up for prostitution. I mean, these are just all kinds of crazy things. I mean, this could happen to anyone, guys. I mean, I mean, a lot happens to people when you when you don't stay connected with them over a ten year period of time, and also, I mean, we've all had those true horror story Craigslist dates. I mean, I read them all the time and, and watch the videos on uh, YouTube. So I mean, to think that um, I didn't do my best with my due diligence in the the dating aspect of all of this. I mean, hey, we all make mistakes, right? You gotta move the, you gotta move on from the mistakes you, you made. I watch a lot of Disney videos nowadays and have since I've had kids. And there's this one video I think it's called Beat the Robinsons, and, and the whole, um, the whole um, the whole aspect of that whole particular Disney video is or it's DreamWorks. I can't remember. Maybe it's a conglomerate of the both. Is that people make mistakes? You gotta keep moving forward. You can't let your mistakes hold you back in life and, and that's it if I can leave this video on any note it's that you can't let your mistakes hold you back we all make mistakes and some way worse than others guys so don't be so hard on yourself you're only human make sure you hit the like button if you like this video make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel if you want more videos and also you got to hit the little bell it's not just good enough to hit, uh, subscribe. If you, if you look over by the subscribe button and the like button, there's a little bell there. You might actually have to click on my YouTube channel link, go to my homepage, and hit the little bell so you can get actual notifications for my new videos as they're uploaded. And, and again, as always, thank you for watching my videos. I make all these videos for you guys. 
hopefully this video can be somewhat of some inspiration for you guys out there. If you have any questions, you can always hit the home button on my YouTube uh, channel tab and click the link to my Facebook. You can send me a message. You never know. I might have time. I might be able to answer it. Um, I'm sorry for the slow upload content that I've had over the past couple years. If you've noticed, over the last three years, <laughs> my YouTube video uploads have went down and down. And um, that's because I'm busy now, single father, uh, raising kids. I mean, I've, I've dated here and there and had a few girlfriends, but nothing long-lasting. And like I said, my main focus has been my career. It's been my kids. And uh, now that my son's getting older, he's starting to go to school, I'll actually be able to focus back again on my YouTube channel. So again, I do apologize for my lack of content. And uh, I, I plan to rectify that here in the future and plan to have uh, regular uploads, um, conspiracy stuff, kids about, uh, videos about uh, my kids, obviously, because I spend a lot of time doing kid-related things nowadays and uh building projects i've actually we've purchased more land uh me and my son and uh, we're up there uh building a cabin um it's quite hilarious but the whole the whole goal is to build the cabin for free and uh we've got we've had various different campers that we've bought off craigslist that have various different leak issues that we've had to uh just get rid of you know so we're doing the best we can with this uh cabin idea um here's some photos of that if anyone has any ideas on uh any suggestions about our, our cabin where we are uh feel free to leave a comment in the comment section and like i like i said i appreciate all your views guys sorry for the long send-off have a nice day